you talked about flow states and I think you know I'm not I wouldn't consider myself an artist but I'm, I know that I do love creating and I love that you know what your ceramic studio brings to such a urban environment but I know that you can't create without surrendering to some kind of like flow state or a frequency in, in your mind. Um, can you just talk about what like a flow state, if you can define it to, or if you, if you can explain it to somebody that might not have ex been in a flow state and how you enter those states outside of art? Damn, that, <laughs> for the, that's a, that's a good question. That's a, <laughs> I'd, I mean, Yeah, so there's like, it's funny because I think, <laughs> I was recently talking to a, f um, a friend, I, he, um, just like, he's like a CEO of this like tech company, and, um, you know, he has a, he has a, he has a team, and he was sharing that he got him all these Oculus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because everybody's on Zoom, right? Everybody's doing Zoom, so he wanted to kind of be like, well, you know, like, maybe this is another way that we can do it. You know, like, we'll all have Oculus, and we'll all be in these Zoom meetings, and we'll all be in, like, we can put ourselves into all these virtual worlds, and, and we can, like, you know, like, physically, like, in, or virtually move, and all these things. And, and I was, like, listening to him, and I was just kind of like, you know, it's always nice to talk to other people and talk to other people from like a whole nother dimension because you're just like, whoa, bro, <laughs> like you think about that and that's what that, you know, that's really meaningful in your life and that's, and that's what, you know, that's what you're, because we're all creators, like we're all creating something, you know, and we're all, you know, as much as like, as much as, you know, and the word artist is like, you know, again, like, it's really just like a way to like, try to define like maybe someone or some some being or some activity that's happening that um that maybe we're 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 like curious to understand um because you know if i said i'm a banker <clears throat> you can you can pretty much pinpoint like what it is that i do <laughs> you know like you can and it's pretty it's pretty defined you know there's there's very little like wiggle room like the banker you know the banker does this and that's what he does or like right. you know even if i you know and the reason i the reason i put a banker banker because i i think like the synthesis is just like the movement of you know the movement of money and in a very very structured way in a very like linear way the artist is just like is almost like this ambiguous thing that like we might not understand and you know and so when people are <clears throat> my you know when people are like oh, i'm not really artist like i'm always like i'm like all right yeah yeah you don't need to define yourself as an artist you know i think it's important that nobody like you know something that's really you know for some reason someone's like categorized these trees as redwoods you know but that's also a very like western perspective of like looking at things like you know i we we all have the opportunity and the freedom to like identify things however it is that we you know i could give them my own name you know mm -hmm. you know maybe i don't really see a lot of red in the in the wood um you know maybe i want to define it as like the fuzzy trees you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's it's a, you know so again like art art is just like this like is like an opportunity to like define a very ambiguous and like very like open-ended infinite like space because everybody can do especially nowadays with like what I what I'm seeing is like artists are like in like dancing between like all sorts of medium whether it's music whether it's writing whether it's performance art you know like you know I'm seeing that like it is important to like focus in into medium so that you can really like hone in and and take in that and have have the opportunity to go into the flow state because <clears throat> going back to the question is like flow state is when you've kind of mastered your ritual in a sense mm -hmm. and you can like re-enter a re-enter a dimension of like of meditation that 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 you understand mm -hmm. for example like a surfer you know like they're 
their capacity to like suit up, grab their board, go out to the waves and like pit and then right when they get into their car and like be like, all right, am I going south or am I going north or which, you know, where, where, like, what am I feeling? Where do you think the waves are? Mm. You know, that like the flow state's gonna like, with time, if you surf for like the, if it's your first day surfing, you're like, oh, I know people surf at Ocean Beach, so I'm gonna go Ocean Beach. If you surf for like 20 years, you'll be like, yo, like, like today's moon is looking like this and the sun's looking like this and it's about this time like I think I'm gonna go to Montera or I think I'm gonna go to like Bolinas or you know like you can you've developed this capacity to like refine your ritual so that you can really like you know where you need to be or how you're gonna like position yourself geographically so that you can like access um, an opportunity to enter the flow state because then you get on the then then you get into the ocean you know and now <clears throat> now you have an opportunity to like observe the waves and like look at things but so it's all about like flow entering flow states all about like building a ritual in the first place like and, and it could be within any context really like you know maybe you're a barista you know making coffee and you like enjoy just like the smell of the coffee like the roasting of the beans like the grinding of the machine like you know whatever like you know whatever your ritual so like ritual allows you to like go into flow states and it's important to like know how you open it know what the middle it's gonna kind of look like and then know how you're gonna close that situation and that's that's really what allows you to like go you know that's like the simplest way that I can explain it the the thing the thing that's like magical though about flow state and that I don't, and I think everybody goes into them in some sort of way because we all have rituals, you know, we all practice something. Mm -hmm. Even if it was structured by, you know, even if you're like, just like an employer, truck driver, like you still have a ritual, mm -hmm. whether how you, how you enter the gas station, how you park your car mm -hmm. and where, you know, all those things are like, can be flow states. But the, the real beauty is like when you can like create, when you can like autonomously like create your flow state, when you can say like, <clears throat> I'm going to do this thing and and then I'm going to enter into this state because for at least and I'm going to now I'm going to like kind of talk about like for me painting like the way I go into it is like like I got to set up all my brushes I got to set up my water I got to have like the water element for sure the brushes like the canvas you know everything's got to like kind of like be in a certain way for me to like even because if there's any interruptions if there's any way that like you know if my brush is in the wrong spot or my water's in the wrong spot like it's going to create this interruption so i can't actually like get the color on at the right time so interruptions into flow states are like the thing that will like hold you back and interruptions can be also seen as like distractions mm -hmm. and especially like entering when i was entering to fatherhood and um and as we transitioned the tra ceramic studio where I used to paint and do paintings and then now it's a ceramic studio and I stopped painting there because like I couldn't enter into flow state mm. anymore because there was just so much going on that wasn't related to painting yeah yeah so whenever you want to enter into flow state it's important to like really like give the medium or the whatever it is that you like give it as much of an opportunity to have as little interruption so that you can really like hone in into it yeah so for for me like the water's got to be in the right spot the brushes i have a collection of colors that i paint with i've simplified my color palette in a way that like i know like i know the relationship my green my whites my yellows my reds like the magenta that i'm using like it's this particular magenta like you know all, all these like all and the and it's funny because in a sense you become a little bit like ocd of like of your process you know and yeah. but like the ocdness is really what lets you like flow in for sure but but when you don't have when you don't develop, and that takes time that like i mm. i remember when i first started painting i was like yeah give me all the paint like whatever paint i'll paint with anything right <laughs> and that's fun too you know because especially when you're younger you have a lot more energy but as you get older like i feel like your energy starts to like have to be like focused in because you have you've created like you've created things like i gotta go do this i gotta go do that um so but like so when i was younger i was like yeah i'm gonna paint with this paint with that and then and then you'd be like damn like i didn't get into the flow state and so you start like being like why didn't i get into it or why didn't i right. like not tap into it and so as you get older you like refine your process and you're like that's really where the magic is and it's a long journey to like to be able to tap into it right now as I'm painting.